Kang Sun Lin was born into a low-ranking Han family in 1727. Her original surname was Wei, while her first name was Sun Nong. Her father was an official in the imperial household department. Her early life was not recorded, but a poem from Empress Tianlong provided some hints. It said, In the past, Kang Sun Lin was taught by Empress Fu Cha. Now after she died, she still stayed with the Empress like before. Therefore, it was likely that at around 13 years old, Kang Sun Lin participated and passed the lady-in-waiting selection. Many speculate that she served in the palace of the Empress or the Empress Dowager. Later, Emperor Tianlong was attracted by her. He then wanted to make her his concubine. But before this could happen, she was sent to Empress Fu Cha's place to learn the rules and etiquette in the palace. Later, in 1745, she was officially granted the concubine title, Noble Lady. Kang Sun Lin was 16 years younger than Emperor Tianlong. At 19 years old, she was promoted to concubine Lin. Lin was a name granted by the emperor, meaning clever and pleasant. In the 13th year of Tianlong reign, Empress Fu Cha caught a cold and died during a trip with Tianlong. Nara then became the step empress. Concubine Ning was promoted as consort Ning. At that time, she still did not have any children. Despite this, Empress Tianlong still adored her. He often described her as gentle and beautiful. At 29 years old, consort Ling finally had a first child, a daughter. Within the next 10 years, she was exclusively favored. She totally gave birth to four boys and two girls. While during this period, only one other consort gave birth to one child. She then quickly elevated the higher ranking of consorts in the 25th year of Qianlong reign. Consort Lin already became the noble consort. In the 30th year of Qianlong reign, the emperor visited Hangzhou with his consort. When they arrived, it was said the emperor wanted to promote consort Lin as the imperial noble consort, the highest ranking of consorts. However, there was a tradition that when the empress was still alive, there would not be any new imperial noble consorts. Therefore, the step empress strongly opposed. However, the emperor still insisted. This made the step empress furious and upset. She then cut part of her hair. Her behavior was like cursing the emperor and the dowager empress because women would only cut their hair when her husband or elder relative passed away. Emperor Qianlong was very angry, so after he returned from the trip, he removed the step emperor's imperial titles. A few months later, consort Lin was officially promoted as imperial noble consort. In the 38th year of Tianlong reign, Tianlong decided to secretly select his heir. Among his seven sons, he finally selected the 50th prince. The prince was not outstanding, but he was hardworking and humble. He was the son of Consort Lin and the later Emperor Jia Qing. In the next year, Consort Lin was sick after coming back from a trip. Soon afterwards, her daughter died. This unfortunate news further worsened her health condition. In the 40th year of Tianlong reign, Consort Lin died at 49 years old. The funeral of Consort Lin was exceptional. Normally, a funeral of an imperial noble consort would have 58 honors, but she was given 76 honors. She was also buried on the right side of the Emperor Future resting place in the Eastern Qing tomb, while Empress Fu Cha was buried on the left side. In the 60th year of Tianlong reign, Tianlong officially announced the son of Consort Lin as the crown prince. As the mother of the future emperor, Consort Lin was also granted the empress title posthumously. After Emperor Tianlong died in 1799, Emperor Jia Qing further honored his mother with the posthumous title, Empress Jia Yichun. Even though Emperor Tianlong favored Consort Lin, he did not make her the empress when she was still alive. People say it was because of her ethnical and family background. 
Empress Fucha and Step Empress Nara were both from a prominent family, but Consolin did not have the strong background, and she was from the lower-ranking Han ethnic group. Some say it was because Qianlong wanted to prevent argument between the princes. If Qianlong made her the empress, people would know that her son must be the crown prince. That would arouse jealousy and dissatisfaction among other princes. The cause of Consul Lin's death was not recorded, so there have been many rumors about it. Some thought Consul Lin merely died of illness, some thought she was poisoned. A hundred years later, the Eastern Qing tombs were stolen. The body of Consul Lin was then discovered. Surprisingly, her bones still had not been corroded. Therefore, some people argue that Consul Lin was poisoned by a lot of cinnabars or mercury, so that her remains could be well preserved. Legend has it that she was poisoned by Emperor Qianlong after he secretly selected his heir. The emperor was afraid that if the young prince took the throne, his mother Consul Lin would become the regent and control the imperial court. But this argument was not supported well. When Emperor Qianlong secretly appointed a crown prince, the prince was not a little boy. He was already 14 years old. Even though he took the throne at that time, he would be able to rule the government. Another speculation was that Consul Lin had been taking a few cinnabars regularly for better sleeping. The accumulated toxins finally caused her death. Among the three empresses of Qianlong, Consul Lin was the only one that was given the empress title only after death. But still, she was favored by the emperor for life. She was not only one of Qianlong's favorite women, but probably the most envious one. <laughs>